What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and I am back in the Bay Area. I'm back home and while I was down in SoCal, I picked up my painting right here. The salmon that I caught and the one that Dwight printed for me. Framed beautifully and I'm making this into some merch too. So that should be available hopefully by the beginning of December so you guys can get them. So look forward to that. And while we were down in SoCal, we actually went night diving as well for spiny lobster and jocelyn went with me it was first time night diving for her and check it out We didn't get any keepers ourselves, but our friends that we went diving with, once we got back to shore, gifted us their catches. So we got to take home some lobster after all. So shout out to you guys. Thanks to Max, Mario, and Mitsuki. You can find them on Instagram. Check it out. Thank you guys. So now, what we're gonna do with the lobster is that we're gonna make some lobster sushi. And I'm gonna do a butter poached lobster sushi. So let's get started. Here we go, wow, nice big lobster. So here's one of them. Uh, this is one of them that uh, Mario got, big male. You can tell it's a male because these, the flippers on the underside. If it was female, these flippers would be bigger and they'll kind of cross. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just take the tail off, all right? And I'm using just a butter knife here and I'm just gonna go back here. It's gonna, it might get messy. Just like that, twist, should come right out. Look at that, a lot of meat on there. This middle fin here on the tail, and twist that each direction and all the, the entrails should come out as well. Oh shoot, it broke. Broke the tail off, but, so I'm gonna use these tweezers. You should be able to see it right here. There we go. That's the intro there. Just pull it all out. Now what I'm gonna do, I have this skewer. I'm gonna do it from this side, the head side. Just poking it along the bottom of it. You can see the skewer, right? Okay. Go right through. Okay. There you go. Normally when you cook lobster tail, it's gonna curl up no matter what, unless you put a skewer in there and you can get it, keep it nice and straight. And since I'm gonna slice for sushi, I wanna keep it straight as possible so I can get some nice cuts. Make sure it's salt water and make sure it's boiling. I'm gonna throw them in just for two minutes. We'll cover that. All right, it's been exactly two minutes now. Let's pull them out. There we go, we're gonna go straight into the ice bath. I'm going to split it. This is a big old head, but we'll try to use it. I'm gonna split it in half. These spiny lobster heads are no joke. They're so, they're so hard. There we go, look at the inside of that, wow. Now I'm gonna saute this in the wok and then we're gonna boil it up and get some nice, delicious stock out of it. Let's see if this fits, huh? I'm gonna flip it over as well. That's smelling good so far. Now I'm gonna add the same water that I boiled the tail in, cause this already has some flavor. So. There we go. Now we're gonna get all the flavor out of these heads. <sighs> smells good. I'm gonna add some peppercorn just for fun. I'm gonna just crush it in my hand a little. And just sprinkle it in there. Little extra flavor. Yeah. 
huge. That's all meat right there. It's pure meat. A little bit falling off. You know what that means. Oh my god. It's so soft. Here. Mm. Now we're going to prepare the butter for this butter poach. I'm going to start with a little bit of water. Put just one stick for now. Unsalted butter. I'm going to whisk it. The water just helps the butter emulsify so you get one smooth looking butter sauce. Otherwise the butter will break apart. Alright last one. So that's four sticks of butter in here. And just melt it all together. Alright, I just went out to the garden and picked up some thyme. So I'm going to add this in here too, just for a little, make it nice and herby. So right now it's kind of boiling. I don't want it to be boiling. I got to poach it, so I just want it a little less than boiling. Lobster tail going in. This lobster, I only cooked it for two minutes. So the middle is still completely raw. So we're going to go about eight minutes in this butter poach. All right, the tail has been in here for eight minutes now. And by the way, I put that uh, skewer back in the tail to keep make sure it's straight. Turn the heat off and I'm gonna pull it out. There it is. Now I'm gonna make a sauce. I have some soy sauce here. Some mirin, by half and half, and a spoonful of brown sugar, as well as some of this stock right here that we've been making. I'm gonna add that to the sauce as well. I'm just gonna strain it. This should have a ton of flavor. Good amount, probably four times the amount of soy sauce and mirin. I'll bring this up to a boil, and we're just gonna reduce the water so we get a nice concentrated lobster flavored soy sauce mixture. Let me remove the skewer in there first. There we go. I'm going to remove this full front chunk right here. And we should open up and have a beautiful, nice, medium rare. Ooh. Now we're going to slice this for nigiri, nigiri pieces. Yeah, that should be good. I took all the legs off and the antennas off because those still have meat in them. So now I'm going to take out the meat from these guys. So I have some sushi rice here and I just made this earlier and mixed some sushi vinegar into it. And if you need that sushi vinegar recipe, I have that. I have a video on that, so check that out. This is the end piece here. I'm just going to tear this apart, chop it a little, a little rough chop. Mix that up. Before we move on, I need to cut some nori. Probably about a quarter inch thick. Now we're ready. To make these lobster nigiri, it's pretty simple. Get a ball of rice, gonna form it into a rectangle. Make sure it's nice and compact. Put the lobster right on top. Take one of these nori belts. I'm just gonna... Oh, Connect it on the bottom. There you go. Okay, so let me show you what to do with these broken pieces of lobster. Just a little square, just like that, just like before. Get the thicker belts, place it there, and then wrap it around. Bam, just like that. So now this one is called Gunkan. And I'm gonna place the lobster right in there. And you can have it. You can have it spilling out. Nice. There you go. Alright, my sauce is ready. Check it out. 
There's the sauce. I might as well put a little bit of that butter sauce on there too, huh? Just a little tiny bit. These are a little fried tempura batter and it makes it a little crunchy. It gives it a nice little texture. Kaiwari daikon sprouts. And we'll just throw that on there. It's a little garnish. All right guys, here it is. Here's my butter poached lobster sushi. Mm. What do I have here? Modern times. Modern times. Double dry hopped. Mm. Cheers. Ooh. Sounds good. Ooh, this one is good too. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> I'm gonna go with the front one here. Ooh, so nice. Mm. sushi mm -hmm. it's good huh mm -hmm. oh wow that's so good it's it's sweet and buttery and smooth and silky it's so nice and just, a little crunch from yeah this. yeah the texture combination in your mouth is, mm -hmm. is amazing all right i'm gonna try this gunkan too look at that oh mm. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man. Wow, wow, wow. You can taste the sauce, right? Mm hmm. Oh, the it's sauce really is good. so good. Oh, I kind of like the legs more, I think. And then, can you imagine ordering this in a restaurant? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, the butteriness. Mm hmm. What do you think? Do you like this one better? Or do you I like do this one? I do like the gunkan. Gunkan is a sushi term, and it means battleship because these uh, style of nigi, it looks like a little battleship. That's why they call it that. <laughs> mm -hmm. How did you like night diving, you think? It wasn't scary as I thought it was going to be. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You thought it was going to be a little creepy? Yeah. Yeah. I thought the same, too, the first time I went night diving. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be really creepy and scary, but it's not too bad, huh? Yeah. As long as I don't look up out of the water around mm. it's fine that kind of creeps you out yeah Looking just like all water. dark in the water can't <laughs> see yeah i don't know what's coming up to me <laughs> <laughs> yeah well that's good you did a good job yeah now we can go diving some more mm -hmm. it's cool catch some keepers mm -hmm. the butter poached lobsters so buttery and it's really soft it mm. makes the lobster like really tender very tender and delicious all right, guys, well, we're going to finish this up. Thank you for watching as always. If you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Good beer, good food, good night. <laughs> good food, good beer, good company, good night. <laughs> <laughs>